Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. And I'm not falling asleep on y'all. Just deep off in my thoughts. But let me tell you this. Um, recently, the question came up about all this Embark testing, right? And, um... Some people was like, well, my dog came back. You know, I've heard everything from Rottweiler to Neo to part English Bulldog, part French Bulldog. All kind of markers are coming up in the dogs. And then some dogs come back identifiable as 100% American Bully. And why does that happen? Okay, this is sort of it. Like with every identifiable breed, they're made of multiple breeds, but once the once the blood is, you know, driven to a certain pattern, uh, you know, the test itself will no longer identify the other genes behind there as, you know, the main genes up front. Now, when they do these tests and not to be too scientific, if they want to figure out what else is in the dog to make the dog, then, you know what I mean, they can do that and they can be very specific and break it down and do a lot of other things if they want to. But when you have uh, a situation like the American Bully where you say it's uh, Staffy and it's Pitbull mix and it's examples of this dog and they have tested and now they have something to, uh, to, to reference that too, when they don't see like... Um, outside influences like the french bulldog behind your dog or like the english bulldog behind your dog when they don't see all these other issues they'll go forward and they'll call that dog 100 percent american bully now if they see a heavy influence of ge uh, genetics from a french bulldog up front they'll call your dog out and say that the dog has french bull a french bulldog mix you know what i mean and uh some people are like well the american bully has a lot of dogs in it it's not supposed to. And this is why some of the tests are coming back 100% American Bully. And some of them are coming back Bulldog Mixed. Because even these people at Embark know that these dogs aren't supposed to be mixed up. Like the people are mixing them up. So, um, you know, even those tests, per se, are not 100% foolproof. Because even with the American Bully, it's a very confusing breed. But um, you do have certain kennels. My, my kennel is one of them. That when people does use Embark for my kennel, it, it actually comes back pretty solid that uh, you have American bullies, you know. So um, if that means anything to you, you know what I mean? It, it's nice. I think, it, I think it's nice from the uh, standpoint that they're trying to do that and they're trying to uh, level up and find a way to... Uh, you know, to, to give people a way to test to see if their dogs are mixed. And they've come up with a formula to find, you know, a high, ver you know, a high influence of certain other breeds in your dogs to identify it as a mix, you know, and that's basically a better way to put it. So, you know, um, yes, you know, in, in their technical terms, they can go in there and say, oh, yeah, this is a staff here. This is from this, you know, with the, with the powers of DNA testing, you can do a lot of things. But ultimately, the goal when they're doing the Embark is to find a certain formula. That certain formula will equal American Bully or it will equal something else. And that's how they're doing it. You know what I mean? There's no specific thing of your dog has to have this much or that much or this much or that much, you know, per se, that you would understand or that I would understand. But whatever they based, you know, their uh, profile off of in the making of uh, American Bullies and the percentages of that being, you know, the right thing, this is why you're getting 100% American bullies. And I've noticed the people who say that their dogs have come back 100% American bully more so have the old edge look. You know, they have the old American bully look. So whatever they're doing in their labs or whatever they're doing, they seem to be basing it off of the originals that if your dog is like those dogs and has that type of pedigree, that they're considering it, you know, 100% the real thing. But, uh, you know, it's an interesting process. Uh, I look forward to seeing how it goes, you know, and seeing how much of a tool or if it's a tool at all, you know, to um, help us hold this breed together, man. But, you know, um, once again, y'all, until next time, much love. Peace.